Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have six beauty hacks that are gonna save you a lot of time if you're either in a hurry or you have like a last minute event to go to. These are some things that I've been doing for years and they are very effective and they work. I've been doing this since I was in high school. This applies to dirty hair. I know we're in the age of dry shampoo, but sometimes your hair can only take so much dry shampoo. A quick hack that I have for you is to wash half of your hair. So all I do is I take the top part of my head all the way to where my crown is, and then I clip the bottom part of my hair away from my face and just let the top part loose, and that's the part that I wash. This is gonna cut your time in half in the mornings or just any time that you really have to wash your hair but you're being too lazy. I make sure to focus the shampoo on the roots of my hair to make sure I get all that oil out, rinse it out, and then I focus the hair conditioner only on the tips of the hair. And then I rinse it all off with cold water. The reason you want to use cold water is because it will instantly give your hair natural shine. It will lock in all those moistures from the conditioner. As a result, you'll need to use less styling tools. Yes, the bottom part of your hair is still dirty. Nobody has to know about that. It's our secret. I won't tell if you don't tell. Now the top part of your hair is nice and clean. You're ready to style it, which takes me into my hack number two. Instead of blow drying your hair and then styling it, try killing two birds with one stone. I personally like to style my hair as I'm blow drying it. Some people call this round brushing now. In my day, it was called a blowout. I make sure to take as much of the water out of my hair with my towel and then with the blow dryer, once it's like 90% or 85% dry, I'll take a round brush and then just start drying section by section. I have this little thing, it's called the blow and go, I believe, it sections onto your mirror. This apparatus is really good if you're not used to doing the round brush with one hand and holding the hair dryer with the other hand. I personally like to just do it by hand, but doing your hair this way is gonna cut your time down so much and when you're done you're gonna look like you took an hour on your hair you're gonna look fabulous my tip number three is if you're running late to let's say a party or you forgot to wax any part of your face i highly recommend having one of these little babies right here you can find these next to the eyebrow tweezers and they're just life-saving if you're ever in a hurry i recommend if you forget to do your eyebrows just focus on the top part of your brow brush your little hairs upwards and then use the flat edge of this to trim and also get rid of those excess baby hairs that grew out and you didn't have a chance to wax this is going to serve as your scissors your trimmer as your wax getting rid of the excess hair and it's also going to shape them and it'll buy you a little bit of time to get your eyebrows professionally done or however you normally get them done you could also use this for any other part of your face that you you forgot to wax or your, your lip area or your chin I don't know whatever you normally wax or use hair removal for my tip number four is also for those days that you are running short on time and you have a special event to go to something where you just don't have enough time to get your nails done or paint them put some press on nails on these are my absolute favorite brand these are the kiss brand that's what I'm currently wearing right now and you can find these for under ten dollars at any grocery store or Walgreens or CVS these particular ones already come with a nail glue so you just pop them on and you're ready to go my next tip is to save you time doing your makeup if you're watching beauty videos on YouTube chances are you have at least more than one eye brush but a lot of times you have to switch in between brushes to do your eyeshadow if you have one of these little babies laying around this is going to save you a lot of time this is uh, those little net things that you use to like put your hair in a bun guys I never even used this to put my hair in a bun because I couldn't figure it out but I did find a better use for it after you're done with one color you just take it swirl it on the little donut and it's gonna remove all of that pigment without you having to use anything wet on the brush or let it, having to let it dry or having to switch brushes so you can see it totally takes all of the eyeshadow off the brush and it allows you to pick up new product this works like magic this is going to hold you over for one entire look definitely still wash and disinfect your brushes you don't want to get any bacteria on your eye and my last tip is something that i am notorious for okay so have you guys ever gone into your closet and then put on a, an article of clothing usually it's a blouse and you find out it's wrinkled but you're already wearing it I have a way easier way than trying to take an actual iron to your body because you should never do that take a spray bottle that's filled with water and then take a hair dryer to it and dry that it'll take less than a minute to actually fully dry and the wrinkles will be all gone I hope you guys found these hacks helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I put out beauty videos during the week and lifestyle videos on Sundays and I will talk to you guys next time Mwah. bye